fly low over North Texas today, it's easy to pass right over the site of one of the most horrific events in recent American history. A 51-day siege by U.S. law enforcement with deadly gun battles, terror from the air, and a raging inferno that left more than 75 people dead, including many women and children. This is what the site of the infamous Waco siege looks like now. These ducks are swimming in what was once the basement of a sprawling compound ruled over by a man named David Koresh, who called himself the Messiah. His followers, a breakaway group of Adventist Christians known as the Branch Davidians. They believed that the second coming of Christ was imminent and lived quietly here on this bend of road just outside the town of Waco. For years, they remained under the radar, surrounded by Texas farms and fields. But in 1993, stories started spreading that Koresh was sexually abusing young girls and that the group was stockpiling illegal weapons. So the U.S. government decided to take action. On February 28, 1993, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms raided the compound. The Branch Davidians responded with gunfire and quickly killed four agents. Inside the buildings, Koresh and his followers hunkered down, refusing to surrender. The siege continued for 51 days before coming to a terrifying end. On April 19th, the FBI tried to force the Branch Davidians out with tear gas, but the compound suddenly erupted into flames. Within an hour, it had burned to the ground. Inside, at least 76 men, women, and children were dead. Koresh's body was found with bullet wounds. The underground bunkers Koresh and his followers used have since been plowed under. Crumbling foundations and a swimming pool are all that remain. Today, a new group of Davidians called simply Branch lives here. They've constructed new homes and a church near where the old compound once stood. Some members of the original church who survived the siege still believe David Koresh and his followers who died will be resurrected. But for now, they are remembered here in a memorial to those who perished.